it's a, an endurance event and a reliability event and a map reading event as well. I was very nervous before starting to go here to Land's End because it's 1200 kilometers driving, many things may happen. You know, we start tomorrow morning at half seven and, and don't get to bed till what, four, between four and five in the morning. It just goes on and on and on. Keep relentless. going, keep going, keep going, relentless, yes, relentless. It's the toughest one, I think, of the year. A lot of people think rally as the test is, but actually I think the jog is a harder challenge as a navigator. Reliability, obviously, is the most important thing, and keeping your head straight for long periods of time on the road. Happy to be here. Today, nice weather. The next days will be pretty cold and maybe icy. Snow is forecast for Wales tomorrow night, so that'll be interesting. It's that coupled with the, you know, the people you're with. You know, you maybe see them more just once a year, but it's like you saw them a few days ago. Yeah, it's great fun. If we can get to the end, that's one hell of a bonus. It really is. Well, we're very interested in the uh, historic world. It's not just all about the modern cars. The challenge of uh, starting in Land's End and ending up in John O'Groats, again, you're going to hit all the different uh, weather, uh, temperatures, driving through the day and driving through the night. So physically and mentally, it's a challenge. It's very, very unique. That's why we said we'd do it again. It wouldn't be a year without Le Joc. That's the only reason. <laughs> it just grips you, doesn't it? And you just got to come back and do it again and again. It's a brilliant rally. Looking for adventure, looking for those tricky slots. It's just brilliant. It's endurance mainly. Very few rallies which are sort of this long unless you go for the peaking to Paris. We are crazy enough to do it. <laughs> We hope to finish, we hope to gain a medal and we hope uh, to finish Saturday because then yes, the overall cup. no penalty, you're competing against the same people in the same cars as you uh, and it's just that you're competing against them basically so yeah you have a gold medal, uh, silver medal and bronze medal and uh, they still compete for a class award but they don't, there's no overall winner. When it's finished it's just a sense of wow it is such a tough rally it's the endurance part and it's a sense, a sense of achievement when you've done it I think. You know, because everything gets thrown at you, bad weather and we're going to have ice and snow. There's a lot of camaraderie as well, which is, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, it could be better, but it's good to get started. some important places and everything is difficult but that makes it fun for me it's the first time so surprised by um, the challenges of um, you know the average speed which was uh, very very high we couldn't keep up because of snow and ice and oncoming traffic but lots of fun very well organized I started off a young man with black hair so you can tell how it's been going so far. So these very narrow country lanes, well sunken with sheet ice and the like, it's interesting, really interesting.
that's one of the most challenging mornings I can remember on the jog. Lots of ice and snow, particularly on the last regularity. Very challenging. We are experiencing the conditions that we would normally get in Wales and up in Scotland. It's, it's unusual to have this amount of ice and snow on the first day in the West Country. But uh, that's the jog. You get all sorts of things thrown at you. We have a bearings issue, but luckily we have a Porsche mechanic on site. So he's uh, taking care of um, fixing the bearings again. We missed the first test and the first regularity. Driving up to Kidderminster, we thought, now we're going to come in at the Plume of Feathers and go for it and hope that we can get to here. Organised for a diff to be brought to here. 30 minute change. Real pit stop, proper stuff. The reversing light packed up, so uh, I've just come up with a switch that's fastened straight to the live at the front, which has gone through the cabin and out to the back, and it works. I'm just trying to find somewhere good to put the switch. <laughs> it's the strut bolt. The, the washer has broken in half, and that's made the bolt loose, and so they're going to get a washer and then tighten up the, the strut. That's about the only tale of well we've had today. We did the job for the first time last year. Fantastic event. Turns out it's quite addictive. It's uh, something I can't give up, unfortunately, but there you go. It's a cross we have to bear. It's been tricky, to say the least. Uh, we've made quite a few errors, uh, but we're here. Everything is open. Uh, Henry Carr, I feel his breath in my neck. He's a better navigator. His points in the Golden Roma per leg is much higher than mine. Okay, uh, So, it's a hard battle. I think it's very tricky because there are some instructions on the sheet that you've got to marry up with the map and that's very difficult when you're on the road, even more so when it's dark. Ice, Guy Woodcock's tricks, the fact I didn't buy my navigator any Werther's Originals yesterday, um, they're, they're varied, there are lots of challenges and I think they're only going to get bigger and bigger as we go into Wales tonight. It's very slippy. Very, very slippy, very tricky. Been pretty lucky. We haven't actually met anyone who's got issues. There is a couple of cars parked at the side of the road, but they're out of the way. Oh, very tricky. I mean, with the snow, it's fresh snow. And, well, if it's fresh, it's okay. But if the car's in front of you, then it's very slippery. But, uh, I mean, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? We had a short kiss with a hatch and a little bit oily from cylinder head. Well, the, the worst oh, thing is the damage of the ego, I'd say. <laughs> That's like in the Alps, getting whiter and whiter, and uh, they are very enjoyable, the roads. Here we are. And now I have to leave. <laughs> uh, the conditions were um, treacherous at times, but uh, like, like everything in life, you've got to drive according to the conditions and just keep plodding on. The snow must have been about four centimetres deep and the car was, the MG was fishtailing like mad and we were desperately trying to hold on. It was snow on top of sheet ice and we ended up taking a boiling action up the hedge, which didn't slow us except it took us up and onto the hedge. My daughter was next to me, oblivious carrying on plotting as I was doing heroic things in the front, sawing the wheel from side to side. Very slidey, very slippery. He was very good, very steady, but we couldn't keep the times. We got stuck in snow drifts, stuck in fields, so in the end we had to abandon it and make our way here because we completely ran out of time. But it was a great adventure and loved it. The rally is beautiful and slippery. White snow is fantastic.
we had a lovely run today, not in time, but uh, we had a beautiful landscape and some challenging navigations to do, which was really good and working well. It's challenging, but it's a lot of fun. There was some tricky, tricky navigation, but actually the beginning of yesterday um, was hard, but then actually it's good. I think I'm getting better, getting better at it, so maybe that's helping. <laughs> yesterday, uh, it seemed to be going all right until we just realized we couldn't get over the big mountain in the middle of uh, leg three. The MG was not able to kind of go up some of the hills, so we had to kind of cut back a bit. We're here in Newcastle ready to start the last 27 hour trek. Um, we're not sure what we're going to find. It seems to be thawing, so we're keeping fingers crossed that the, the uh, temperatures keep rising and uh, we can put the whole route together. For a couple of old amateurs, I think we've been doing very well and we've been thoroughly enjoying it. At the moment, we're still silver next to the BMW uh, fast charging Thomas over there. He's uh, He's got a couple of yeah, a couple of lives up on us, so we've got to, got to improve today. We are in front of Thomas Brigel and uh, by a minute, but he is coming up, so we'll do our best too. <laughs> we achieved till now silver. There are two losses difference between us and the uh, actual gold medal. We're in gold medal position, I think. There's ourselves three, well, one crew from each category in gold medal position at the moment, but. Uh, Still a long way to go and with the weather that we've had already, who knows what weather Scotland might throw at us, so just uh, got to take it a step at a time as always. Last night of the jog is never ending. It's just staying awake is the is the big challenge. Staying awake, con you know, concentrating on the, the task in hand. By the time we get to Aviemore, it should be snowing. A wonderful Loch Ness monster that's going to take us hours to complete, and then we'll be totally tired and totally worn out by I can't remember when. That's what it's all about. That's what we're here for. So uh, we're not really complaining. It's just uh, uh, we have to pace ourselves properly. That's all. Well, they cancelled one of the regs. We don't quite know why. It could be snow. It could be whatever. But it was a high one. We've only got ten minutes, and we're going out again. So you have to go miss the first left and then take a second. Straight off the edge here. It was a bit frustrating when we first got out of the car, but um, as the night's worn on, it's, it's, I just can't stop laughing. I wanted to take a turn, and uh, well, we started sliding, and here we are. It's so. tired and uh, encountered some, some severe weather conditions with uh, snow, deer, some uh, rabbits, it was wonderful anyway. Got here and we've had some sleep and we'll try and plow on through the night and get to John O'Groats. We're struggling a little bit with our car, a gas filter was just collapsing, it's 
not working anymore and now we have a flat tire, but we're still working on it and we'll make it up uh, to Juno Groats. We have punctures, uh, we have uh, problems with the motor, but everything runs. It takes some time, but it's a good time. I pulled with my Toyota Land Cruiser, two cars. We lost every time half an hour or more, but both cars were after on the road. I think it's the best rally in the world. I would say, if you don't know how to do rally and you'd like to be the toughest rally on, on earth, then just do this. Tired, tired, but uh... We see the end. <laughs> it's been a tough one. We had things on all the legs from uh, ice and snow in Cornwall. Uh, right the way through to sheet ice right at the end here, um, deep snow in Wales and uh, fog and mist, so yeah, it's been a tough one. Anybody who's won a medal uh, deserves a massive pat on the back, it's probably one of the hardest medal they will have won. That's the great feeling. Yes. All goals achieved. Yes. Driver's champion achieving class win and at least a gold medal. Yeah. We were so long time on goal, probably uh, we missed it uh, in the ice in last night. So, silver, yeah, the best teammate I ever had. <laughs> the excitement of finishing and just surviving what you've just survived and yeah, just seeing everybody else get to the finish, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and elated really, it's very, very tough event. I think it's the toughest we've ever done. Oh, we're absolutely elated. I don't know about you. Are you, Chris? Absolutely, but a little tired, to yeah. say the least. And we've used all our nine lives and a few more. It was really tough. The ice and snow really, really took its toll, but we took it in our stride and enjoyed every minute. It's been great. I've really loved it. I've, it's, been, it's been so good. It's been so much fun. Just a note for all you fathers out there. <laughs> Uh, to do this with your children is one of the most wonderful things that you could ever do. <laughs> Great, really good event, really tough. Let the results be finished, but it looks quite good, in fact, yes. We are, we are very happy.